My name is Stephanie Shumba and I'm a final year television student at Rhodes University. Um, I've lived in South Africa for the past 10 years. I'm originally from Zimbabwe. Um, I've been on the job market for the past few months now because I am completing my studies and I need to be working next year. Um, but unfortunately, because I was not born here, I actually it becomes difficult for me to apply for a job in South Africa. Um, I get rejected from a lot of things because um, I'm not from here, I don't have citizenship. A lot of the jobs that I apply for clearly state for South Africans only. And I always thought that this was very unfair because, you know, we are qualified students. But um, unfortunately, because we're not from here, we completely get disregarded when it comes to, you know, specific jobs. And it becomes a matter of what do we do now? You know, we become stuck. So I decided to do a short piece on that and just focusing on, the, on some of the struggles that we do go through and the importance of the No Borders campaign. For starters, um, the major challenge, I suppose, is the whole facade that, you know, you get to university, you get a degree and everything is going to go and bounce your way. Companies are going to come flowing for you and everything. But the sad reality is that's not the case. Um, you quickly realize that, yes, it does happen, but for a few people. But um, apart from that, legally speaking, we have to study under strict conditions in a way. And you realize that you, you have the skills to bridge the gap that is lacking in South Africa. And you want to contribute to that economy, but, but they said you can't do it because you do not have a work permit. So you need to go get a work permit and you say, oh, you say all right. You try to go to home affairs and say, hey guys, I need to get a work permit so I, I can get a job. I'm no longer studying. I don't want to be an illegal immigrant in South Africa. And they tell us, well, for you to get a work permit, you need to show us proof that you have a job interview waiting for you or a job offer waiting for you. Because I've done LLB and I'm in the legal field, it's very hard to penetrate into, into the careers in South Africa because yeah, they don't, they're not exactly willing to take on foreigners as opposed to taking their own people. I applied for jobs all the time and then I would basically get rejected. And then I was like, oh well, why not in the meantime further my studies? So I decided to take on my masters. Those that are actually in the legal field actually do end up going through that channel. Like they end up going to further their studies because they can't get any employment within South Africa. But it's not, I don't speak for everyone. Some people have managed to get jobs and so it just depends on your luck. If you're lucky enough and the firm is willing to hire you and take you on board without the work permit and then process the work permit for you, then that's just your luck. A lot of people would ask, why don't you just go back to your home country, you know? Why don't you just go back to Zim and work from there? And I would love that. I'd love to go back home. My country is beautiful. Zimbabwe is beautiful and it's home. But unfortunately, because of the economy and because of everything that is happening that side, it's not feasible for me to be there. So what do I do now? A personal friend of mine actually, uh, Phil, we were always together, like we always used to share ideas together. At the, at the end of the day, he finished his honours and no one wanted to take him because he didn't have the um, qualification, I mean the necessary work permits he needed because they were saying, oh no, the government wants us to prove that we can't find anyone else in South Africa who can, you know, fulfil this job. So it's too much um, work and all of those things. And he ended up going back to Zim and settling for a job in a different department. At the moment, I have applied in Zim because, I mean, I'm Zimbabwean. But because of the way our economy is like, firstly, there is no employment at all. I've studied for five years. I'm doing my master's now. Should I really go back home and work for a thousand rand? This is why I strongly agree with the No Borders campaign that has been introduced in Europe, which focuses on bridging the divide between countries. In Southern Africa, it seems to apply to many companies because there are companies such as Pick and Pay and many others that are branching out into other SADC countries. 
but why can't this apply to individual citizens? You know, you've got citizens who are trying to do the right thing, who have studied, who are qualified, and who are saying, I want to go and work as an accountant, as a lawyer, as a journalist, you know, but then we get disregarded. So I always believe that the No Borders campaign is something that is very good, and I know that a lot of people do agree with this, um, and I think it's something that we need to look at for the betterment of our continent. I mean, why should we have border restrictions? We're all African, so we, we survive and depend on each other, if you know what I mean. So I, 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 I agree.